What is up, guys? We got a, a top six uh, deck profile here. Uh, with uh, what is your name and what did you top with? Clarence. And then I topped with Raju. Oh yeah. yeah. So you're the only Raju player, I believe, uh, that I was think able so. to. Top, so. Top eight, yeah. So you must be doing something right. Uh, sometimes everything just works well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what were your matchups throughout the whole day? Do you uh, remember? Um, I'm thinking. Actually, I need. Let me write it down. You want me to write it down? No, no, it's okay. Just tell me. Okay. Read it off your phone. Um. So my matchup, I think it's Kara, Kara. Yeah. One Reju, one Yamato. Mm -hmm. Um. Two Sakazuki's. Mm -hmm. One Enel, which was my only loss. Okay. Um. I think it's one more. Saka, yeah. honestly, and one more Kata. Okay, and yeah. how do you approach like uh, those matchups, like Sakazuki? Um, Sakazuki, it's really dependent on, I think, first them, if they have everything that they need to bottom deck. Yeah. And usually just the four drop. Four drop into seven, and then being able to swing a seven drop, yeah. is a, it's like it's pretty hard for them to clear, because they need Ice Age, right? I see. And I think Pudding too, because a lot of people, like Saka, they're scared to get Pudding, right? Yeah. So some of them will start countering. Oh. So it's like, even if they start countering, you're kind of like upping them, right? Yeah. Because they're minusing two cards either way. Yeah, either way. So you don't have to actually drop the pudding no. and punish them. Yep. I see. What about the mirror match? How are you approaching that match? The mirror? Um, so usually I think you just want to be able to dawn minus, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're going second and then you have a Reju, like on the turn already, yeah. you, you just want to use it, right? Or if you have a three drop on going first, you just want to use it already and set up a big body. I see. Because most of the time, if you don minus already, the opponent can't really do anything to don minus, right? Yeah. And it's just if you are on the back end and you're like you know he don minus first, you got to be the one to just set up big bodies. I see. And then that kind of just. Through. So you want to set up big bodies before your opponent does. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're playing the rages out first and uh, yep. the seven drop. Okay, let's go into the deck profile. Oh, but besides, uh, this is the prizing that he was able to get uh, for top eight prizing. So really nice uh, little uh, art here. We have the law here and the Luffy. Are you going to be selling this uh, to um, the public or anything? Or at the moment, uh, probably not. I'll just okay. let it marinate a little bit and see what's up. Yeah, look really nice Luffy here as well. Okay, let's check out the deck profile. Right. So Reju, um, let's start off with the searchers here. No, I'll go upside down. So this card allows you to look at the top uh, So we five. have four of these and also four of the stage. Um, honestly, this whole deck runs on the stage. Um, if you don't get the stage, most of the time it's kind of over with, right? Yeah. So if you mulligan, you don't see stage. Yeah. Honestly, just already uh, mulligan it because everything isn't going to work that well, right? I see. I think there was only one game where I didn't see stage and it was against Yamato. But I was able to still take it because I still had like the cards I needed in my hand. Uh -huh. um, this just helps if you don't get stage, but you have some of these. You can look at top five and grab this. Yes. So it's another chance for you to kind of get it. Um, it's not like purple Kaido where you just, uh, you know, you bank on the Onigashima. Yeah. So technically you have like four ways to kind of look for it. That makes sense. Or eight ways, I guess. And then we have the babies, Reju, Niji, and Ichiji. Okay. So these are kind of just standard. They're just the big boys that you kind of want to have. You upgrade them into the bigger ones. Yeah. Kind of one dog. Yeah, it's just what the deck runs on, right? Uh, five drop. The evolved versions yeah and usually some people um they run the yonji but i think you don't really need the yonji honestly because there's a lot of things that kind of just rest the blockers mm -hmm. so there's no point in having it you'd rather want to have something that's like a, a 2k counter or something like okay that, that like makes utility cards yeah what else is there? so we got a double player. So, uh, so normally I don't see these in the, the uh, Reju list. Mm. Uh, what made you want to play this one? Is it another 2k counter? So these right here, basically just 2k counters, right? Yeah. Uh, this one is standard. You can grab some babies and then play it, right? Right. Helps you get uh, Ichiji if you need to. Um, Haya helps you kind of trash, draw two if you're completely bricked up. Uh, double finger, main thing is 2k counter. Yeah. But also if you're on... Kind of like odd turn like you have seven dawn or 
let's say five turn five dawn right and then you want to set up a judge turn yeah usually you can actually just hard play this so you go to six right uh-huh and then next turn you're at eight so now you can judge oh i see so it's a way to, for you to kind of ramp and also just triggering a body sometimes okay never came up like that though it's mostly just like a 2k counter for me i see but it has its niche theory, uh, yeah. niche things yeah. be able to do it um before you continue so you were able to play this on turn uh two turn three which one the double finger theoretically um, of course if you're going five i'm not too sure which dawn because sometimes you dawn so much you yeah you minus dawn you're right. you don't know which turn you're in yeah, exactly if you're just on like a uh, five dawn yeah and then you have a good setup for judge uh -huh. and you need to judge you could play this yeah so you ramp one dawn uh -huh. so next turn you just judge okay right? so you sacrifice tempo in some in yeah some play sometimes to be able to set up the judge the next turn yep okay that makes a lot of sense thank you for that and then we have your judge usually you just need two you search a lot in your deck and then usually you're only playing one okay like you never ever play two of them it's always just one and then you do everything and then by then game's probably done already right right exactly too much pressure and then we have two puddings and two queens uh two pudding it just helps with the soccer matchup um or if they have a holding a lot of cards in their hand right yeah exactly you want to be able to threaten them with this because a lot of uh, soccer players they search and they kind of like shape their hand right so playing this just kind of takes away all that thinking that they did like the previous turn yeah trying to set up their hand and then usually if you play it and then they don't get the right cards in their hand then they just can't answer your board right yes and then we got two queens um this came up a lot so honestly being a 5k yeah or five cost because not a lot of things can rest it yes. and usually if you're completely bricked up and you just want to draw you play queen Dawn minus one, and technically you draw like two, yeah. trash one, and then you draw another. Draw another one. one yeah. So it's like three cards from a queen, and so, it's also an attacker. So know? why only two copies if uh, that's a really good skill? Um, most of it is because the deck is already pretty tight. Um, I see. There's really nothing much I can take out because I like having the two K counters. Most yes. of the time, if you're drawing right, and then you draw blanks or one K, it's not as not as good, right? I see. Because with Raju. You want to be able to have a lot of like pretty healthy if yeah, you yeah. judge on like a one eight one health or maybe even two it's kind of risky yeah because they could just crack you for a game yeah even though you have the board presence and everything yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's no blocker <laughs> yeah it's because i don't run the Yonji yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i and mean also, not a lot of people do the reason i don't run yonji is because for you to be able to set up that whole five yeah you gotta discard so many more things yeah but yonji is cards. not really like a like a staple i would say that you need it got including it, got this it, deck it. so Okay, well, thank you for the deck profile. And are you, I'm not going to see you at a different event uh, um, going forward for. Uh... We're going to be in Niagara Falls. Oh, okay. Yeah, and maybe Texas. But that will be depending on, you know, things. But... I see. Well, are you going to be playing Raju for the future events or are you going to think about um, playing a different deck? I'm still thinking, honestly. Um, kind of played this on a whim. I'm not going to lie. I see, I see. I, see. I tried it, like, started the set. I tried it out because I wanted to test something new. Uh, last set, I played soccer. Yeah. Um, so I thought I knew the soccer matchup already and I knew how to play it. So I wanted to try something new this set. Yes. And if ever it didn't work out, I could always go back to soccer. Right? Yes. And actually, on my uh, the last day, I was playing some Reju and I think I was like, uh, I was play testing with some buddies. Yeah. I actually went 0 and 5 against them. Oh, jeez. I went 0 and 5 against them. And then kind of made me reconsider, right? Yes. So when I got home, when I got home, I tried to play Sakazuki. Right. But then I felt like I didn't understand the matchup fast enough. Yeah. Because even though it's the same Sakazuki as last set, there's a lot of new nuances that you have to know. True. True. Matchup wise, right? So it's not something I could learn over one day. Yeah. So since I've been playing this for, I would say, like two weeks, I might as well just bring it, right? And you did well. And yeah. Sometimes you just, you know. Stick to your guns. Yeah. yeah. Stick to your gun and go high roll. All right. Well, thank you for the deck profile, and I'll see you more in the future. Yeah. All right. Thank peace you, out. Bro.